All right, guys, our next final four matchup is set. NC State versus Purdue. Let's discuss. NC State coming off a win today over Duke. Started off a little slow. Looked like Duke might kind of run away with it a little bit, but NC State weathered the storm and ended up winning by double digits. Purdue, on the other hand, all right, beat Tennessee. Zach Eady, dominating performance once again. So we got an interesting matchup here. DJ Burns versus Zach Eady. So the real question, what it's going to come down to, obviously, is can NC State stop Zach Eady? Obviously, that's easier said than done, and it's not going to be any easy task. Let's talk about NC State. All right, coming in as the 11 seed at 26 and 14. All right, their season comes down to one shot pretty much. They wouldn't have made the NCAA tournament if they didn't win the ACC tournament. They almost got knocked out of the ACC tournament. That, that one shot I'm talking about, they hit a shot at the buzzer beater at the buzzer against Virginia, a buzzer beater to send it to overtime. And that was one shot away from them completely missing this tournament. But they win that game. They go on the run to get where they are now. In that span, multiple wins over Duke, a win over North Carolina. NC State's rolling right now, as well as a win over Marquette. They look good, all right? They, like I said, started out slow today. But Horn got pretty hot for a little bit. DJ Burns tore up Duke. And they get the win. They're here where they are now. Let's look at their schedule a little bit. Look at their resume. Tournament-wise, all right, they beat Texas Tech in the first round, beat Oakland in overtime in the second round, beat Marquette, then beat Duke. Here we are now in the Final Four. I'm a little skeptical on NC State, I'll be honest with you. I haven't been the most impressed with them, but they keep winning somehow. So sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and that seemed to have happened so far. You know, I mean, you get a Texas Tech team who is down a few of their big men, so a little banged up there. You get a second-round matchup with Oakland, which got really hot against Kentucky. Marquette shoots their worst performance of the season. And then you get Duke today, which I wasn't super high on as well. They got obviously lucky as well with Shed from Houston getting hurt to get to this point. So I'm not going to say it's completely luck, but sometimes, like I said, it's better to be lucky than good. And NC State's getting hot at the right time, lucky at the right time, whatever you want to call it. But here they are. They're beating whoever's in their way no matter what. And then Purdue, obviously led by Zach Eady. You've got Smith as well, Fletcher Lawyer. Uh, looking at their tournament, all right, pretty dominating really throughout the tournament. Went over Grambling, Utah State, Gonzaga, then today over Tennessee. Tennessee kind of played with them a little bit. Looked like it might be a little dicey, but Purdue too much in the end. It kind of looks like them and UConn are on a collision course, but we'll see. Uh, NC State, it looks like Purdue is favored by 9.5 right now, spread-wise. But who am I going to take in this game? Well, first off, to beat Purdue, you're obviously going to have to neutralize Edie. The way to do that, in my opinion, press Purdue, make their guards lose the game for you. All right, don't even let Edie be a factor. Obviously, that's not going to happen all throughout the game. That's much easier said than done. But if you can make their guards, which are prone to turning it over every time, every so often, Purdue's guards can get a little wild and probably going to be pretty frustrating for Edie when he can't even get the ball when they can't cross half court, you know, every so often. But Edie is pretty dominant. I don't think DJ Burns can guard him. Uh, Edie is obviously really, really good at drawing fouls. And if he can get Burns in foul trouble, NC State might be in trouble. But Middlebrooks has done pretty good as well for NC State. You got Diara too, another big guy. Uh, but if DJ Horn can somehow neutralize Smith, kind of go tip for tap with him, you know I mean? Hit a three, Smith hits a three, back and forth. He might be all right here. But I don't think NC State can unfortunately win this game. Giving Purdue by double digits, I think nine and a half is rather beneficial to NC State. I don't think that's really going to happen. I think that's pretty convenient to NC State. I don't think that happens. I think Purdue's going to win this game by double digits and probably, unfortunately, a pretty dominating performance. But am I wrong? Who do you think wins this game? Let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.